Hello there, Janelle. Thank you so much for choosing me to do another reading for you, my dear. Hello there, everybody else. Thank you for stopping by to check out my reading style if you haven't seen me before. So Janelle is uh, pretty much a regular client of mine and has been for a long time. And she just wanted an internet reading. For those of you who would like to find out how to get a $6 internet reading, all you have to do is check out my website for that. I also offer private readings either live in increments of 30, 45, or 60 minutes, or private readings, um, one or two question readings, your choice, and those are pre-recorded, not live. Um, aside from that, I offer Reiki and distance Reiki um, treatment sessions, and I offer addiction relief services, and then if you happen to be in a local area, what I offer is house clearings. If you need a house cleared, maybe you're trying to sell your home and it's been sitting on the market a little too long, you may want to consider getting rid of some of that stagnant energy and bringing in some fresh news so that it will start catching buyers' interests more quickly. Um, or if you're having problems on a house, if you are feeling um, negative feelings every time you walk into your house, whether it's anger, anxiousness, depression, whatever it is, or if you have just weird, crazy things going on in the house, <laughs> um, then I'm the girl to call. Now I also offer psychic parties where I can facilitate and uh, help other people figure out, you know, you and your guests, figure out what kind of psychic abilities you have and explore that with you. Or I can also do a psychic party where I just come in and I read for you and your guests. Up to you. So um, all of those are available. You can find out about all those on my website. But let's get into the reading from Miss Janelle. She writes to me, how are things going to go in the coming week, including the weekend, um, looking for him and I in our relationship. So this is Janelle and Pablo. I want to know about the coming week. I am recording this on Tuesday morning, 11.54 my time. So we're going to start with today. Tuesday, and we're going to move through until Monday. So that's going to give seven days. So obviously that will include the weekend. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. This is a five card reading whenever you get one question. So we're going to use five cards to look at the week ahead. Okay, so for Janelle and Pablo, what we have coming up here Starting off, like looking at today moving forward for the next day and a half or so, day and a third, whatever it actually works out to be mathematically, things are very unbalanced. I think there's a lot of, there may be a lot of one-way communication or um, one-way energy being spent towards somebody, but not getting a lot of reciprocating energy back. So that's how we start out. Just want to put my phone on silent just in case. Sorry about that. Um, so that's how we start out. What? <laughs> I put my phone on silent and that's what happens. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm blushing. <laughs> sorry. So sorry, guys. Okay, so <laughs> let me kind of recenter here. <sighs> so anyway, we're starting off the next seven days with um, one-way communication or one-way energy being put out um, in this relationship. So one of you will be um, spending more energy than the other one on the other person. Um, in this situation, it's hard to imagine that the person spending uh, more energy on the other person would be Pablo just because of how things have historically been trending. Um, but either way, La -da -da, la -da -da. The next thing that we have coming up during the week is I think that you guys will be, Ms. Janelle, I think that you will be communicating a little bit more once you get into three days from today. You'll start to be maybe more like, yeah, about two days in. You'll be starting to communicate more. You'll be starting to get on the same page. You'll be starting to understand each other a little bit better. This is kind of a time of reconnection, rebonding. Um, letting go of insecurities. So that's really a nice card to see. Um, once we get out three days from here, there's, well, I'm just going to be straight with you. I have my card that comes up that talks about unhappiness. So I have the feeling that there's going to be something that happens that 
you're not going to be thrilled about some kind of action that Pablo has taken or um, the way something is going down. It doesn't even have to be something that Pablo has done personally. This could even be something about his schedule or how uh, maybe he finds out he has to travel or maybe there's something going on at work and it interferes with plans that the two of you may have had. And I see some unhappiness coming in here because of that. That was a loud truck. I hope you guys didn't actually hear it on the microphone. Um, once we get into about maybe like five days, four and a half, five days out on this seven day journey that we're looking at here, I do see um, you, Mr. Nell, making yourself, uh, putting yourself in a vulnerable situation by just sharing with Pablo how you feel about something. Um, and I say putting yourself in a vulnerable situation because anytime we share how we feel about something, you know, we leave ourselves open to um, what the other person may say in reaction. You know, maybe they'll um, act like we're stupid to have the feelings that we have, or maybe they will uh, wholeheartedly understand and be encouragers and supporters. And so we put ourselves in this vulnerable situation of we don't really know how this is going to go, but we are going to talk about how we feel to try to get, um, usually when we do this, it is to try to get things back up on the same page and moving forward in a productive way. Um, I do think that once you have put yourself in this vulnerable position, I think you're going to end up seven days from now waiting to hear back from Pablo about, hmm, and your reaction to that would be, this is not a very comfortable place to be either when you've made yourself vulnerable by sharing your feelings and the other person is not communicating, but that's what I see as far as how this week is ending. So this is really, this is really a bumpy ride this week is what it looks like to me, Ms. Janelle. Yeah, and when I look at the bottom of the deck to see what kind of card comes up as a theme, we've got the Eight of Stones in reverse, which just tells me that um, this is a card that in a relationship spread to me talks about either working things out if it's right set up or things aren't working out if it's upside down. This tells me that things are just not really working out well. So this is um, not such a big surprise. It just kind of confirms what I'm seeing here already that there's a lot of ups and downs and, and you guys are having a hard time really plugging into the same connection for communication. Okay. So thank you so much for choosing me. Everybody else, thank you for stopping by. Have a fantastic, fantastic week, and I'll see you all on the next video.